It was a day like any other at the lair. I was hanging out with the brothers as they skateboarded down their homemade park. I was just watching. Never really liked getting into things unless it was for fun. They were having challenges of sorts to see who can make the, the most moves without hitting their face or messing up. Hey, your name. You gotta try this, Leo yelled from on one hand position. Nah, it's no fun when you guys start jumping each other after who becomes victor. I waved my hand and shook my head. Nuh-uh, I said for clarity. Aw, don't be such a stick in the mud, your name. It was, it'll be fun, he laughed and smirked. If you beat me, you can kiss me, he flirted in a deep voice. I stopped and blushed so hard at that. So, lately, I've noticed. I only get that way with Leo. No, other guy makes me feel that way. I never liked a girl like that either, so... It threw me off for a while, till I realized it was only Leo, and not really men and women I'm into. Do they say pansexual, I guess? I never really could tell. Aw, did your name like that? Do you want a kiss as a reward? He made this really weird flirty face. I snapped out of my thoughts. What? No? I got up and started to walk out. I needed some time to think. Wait, your name. I was just kidding. He yelled after me and I just kept walking. Now you did it. You made him upset. Donnie says as he put his hands on his hip. Yeah, man, not cool. Mikey joined in after. It was a joke. I mean, come on. He's a guy. Can't he take a joke? Leo yelled. What if it's not a joke to him? What if he actually likes you? Raph said. Wait, what? Raph put put a hand on Leo's shoulder. He's been having a hard time with his feelings. You know, he's never liked anyone before, so... Wait, how do you know that? Leo pointed at Raph. I, uh... Way to go, bro. You just spilled your name's deepest, darkest thoughts to the guy he might like. Donnie was giving a look of disappointment. I... Go after him, dude, Mikey said. I... But what do I say? Your heart will tell you, Mikey cheered. I nodded after a minute and ran after him. Back to your perspective. I was pulling my hair out at this point. How could I even think straight? Pun intended. I just didn't know his laugh, his smile, his dumbass puns, and teasing just made me go wild. No girl made me feel this way, but then again, I never dated a girl, so I never knew what kind of people I liked. I felt someone's hand on mine, pulling my, ha my hand away from my hair. I quickly turned, getting dizzy and falling forward. Whoa, your name, easy there. It was Leo. He held my middle and I blushed quickly pushing him back and stumbling backwards. I felt really hard on my back and let out a grunt and groan. Leo qu quickly rushed to me. What the heck were you thinking? He carefully picked my head up and then, then my back slowly up until I stopped him. No, stop touching me, I said pushing his face. I'm trying to help you, he said somewhat muffled with my hand on his cheek. I don't want your help and why not? Because it will only make me fall harder for you, I yelled as soon as those words left me. I shook, and my whole body was engulfed by red embarrassment. I covered my mouth, but quickly covered my face. I just admitted that I liked him, and more than a friend, I just... What do I do? Leo, on the other hand, had let go of me and set me down gently and had his own blush creep up on his face. Maybe not as bad as mine, but more so to his ears. Does he even have those? I, uh, your name? Forget I said anything. What? Why? Just forget it. Doesn't matter anyway. I don't know what I'm even talking about, I said. Why would I forget something like this? And who are you to tell me to forget? I looked up at him finally. He was staring at me with a hint of anger in his eyes. Leo. No, don't Leo me. Leo, I can't. Seriously. I'm... This... 
I'm just so confused. I never felt this way. And you're my friend. And it's... It's what? Wrong? No. Then what? Is it because I'm a guy? No. I sat up. Then what? You being a guy has nothing to do with it. I like you for you, Leo. Not your gender. I thought it would be awkward that your friend liked you. Your guy friend. I never felt this way before and and I was scared. I covered my face. I never had to deal with this before. I felt a hand on my face. I don't care that you like me and you're such an amazing guy your name. My best friend man. Nothing could change that. I... Leo pulled my hands down and gave me a kiss. Pulling away I quickly covered my mouth in shock. A deep chuckle was heard from Leo. You're really cute when you blush like that. He smirked and moved closer. What are you doing? I backed up, just showing you how I feel your name. Isn't that obvious? He stopped, eyebrow raised. I, um, kiss on the cheek. Your skin's so soft. A kiss on the forehead. Your mind is like no other. A kiss on the nose. You're so kind. A kiss on the neck. Leo. A kiss on the ear. Stop that. A kiss on the jawline. Beautiful both inside and out. A kiss on the hand. I looked up at him and I was shocked to only see loving eyes staring back at me. And you accepted me for everything that I am. And more. Been my friend even when I was annoying to most. My only friend. Well, except April. But I know you're scared. But my love for you will never stop. And I will always be here, even if you run away. I will look high and low for you. He smiled. We can take it slow, okay? I'm not in any hurry or anything. He laughed, and I could see it now. I have fallen for him. His smile and laugh and everything he is. That's what was pulling me in. I don't have to be scared anymore. I don't know what to do. You don't have to do anything. Your love is enough. We can take our time, okay? I don't care that you're a guy. I love you for you, your name. No other reason. I covered my face and smiled, but tears wet my hands as they fell through them. Don't cry. He held me close and kissed my head. I'm sorry for teasing you about this. I had no idea you felt this way till now. I won't do it again. I promise. He cooed softly. Thank you, Leo. I sighed, leaning up and gave him a small kiss on his jawline and his face became a goofy mess. <laughs> I laughed. Fold one minute and a pile of pure goo the next. He stopped. Only for you, my sweet. He pecked me back. Let's go home. And maybe pick out a place for our first date. He wiggled his eyebrows. I smacked his head. Ow! Dummy. <laughs> hey, you know you think I'm cute. And I roll. Yeah, yeah, you're adorable, Leon Neon. We both blushed at that nickname, but nonetheless, he takes my hand, and we both go home together.